spiral structures are trending now because it brings out the creativity in you as a designer and it also makes the dress beautiful and elegant so in this video i will be showing you how to make spiral structures on dresses and uh, this is one of the projects we just concluded and these are the materials we use to make the spiral structure so you need your paper tape to protect the the pointed edges of your bone and also you need the this is called fish bone it is a spiral bone so you can get it in the market payard they sell payard and you can also get the pack so the measurement i just take here is 35 inches and it is wide by 60 inches so i will take one inch here which will be used to hem the the hedge so i'm going to hem the hedge by one inch just stitch it up so that it won't fray so after that the next thing to do is to take all the measurement of the bone channels so the bone channels will be taken by half of an inch so i'll be taking half of an inch after i've hemmed this side I will take half of an inch like so so this half of an inch i will just chalk it all through so i'm going to do a lot of marking on this fabric because at the end of the day i'll be following the markings to make every anything i want to make so i'll be following the markings so after this after chalking the bone channel i'll mark the space the space that will be between one bone and the other will be one inch so i can say i use one yard for the purpose of this tutorial i use one yard so you can use it depends on where you want your structure to be and how extended you want your structures to be so i'm marking the space right now you can see i'm marking one inch so if i mark one inch the next marking will be half inch and after half inch it will be another one inch so it will just go like that it will i will just do it like that because the space is one inch and the bone channel is half inch so one inch half inch one inch half inch that's how it goes so after i have done this after i'm i'm done with this the next thing to do is to go on my machine and stitch the bone channel i will show you that as we get to that stitch but what we are doing here is just to take our markings just i'm going to take the markings like so till i finish the one this one yard so i will just take it like that so the type of back fabric you need for this type of material you need a lightweight fabric I'm using a satin fabric here, so it's kind of a duchess material and it's very light. So you can also use a, an organza material. An organza material is very popular. That's what many people use. But if you want, don't want it to be too transparent, you can use a satin, a light fabric. And you can also use a chiffon fabric is also good. You can also use a chiffon fabric to make this type of structures. So after I have done that, I will just continue to mark like so. I will just continue to mark like so. Mark the space, mark the bone channel. So I told you this type of bone is called a spiral bone. You can call it a spiral bone or you can also call it a fish bone. In Nigeria market, you call it a fish bone and they will get you this. So the wheat, it has various different types of wheat. So the wheat I am using, that's why it's it's like um, a quarter inch, a quarter. So that's why I'm making half of an inch so that by the time I fold it up, I will have a, a space to pass it in through. So I will fold it, fold the bone channel like so. So this is, what I'm doing here is the hemming of the hedge. So I'll first of all hem the hedge before i'll begin to pass in the before i'll begin to stitch the bone channel so after hemming the hedge like so just your normal stitching to hem so just stitch like so and hem the hedge and after you are done with hemming of the hedge then you begin to hold the bone channel hold it and stitch run a straight stitch through so after i'm done with this i'll move to 
holding of i'm still aiming the edge so i'm done with the aiming of the edge then i will hold the bone channel right away i will hold the bone channel right away so i will hold the bone channel you can see how i'm holding it then pass your stitch leaving the space so you you must consider the space that is going to accommodate your bone so so i'm stitching by the lines that i just that i've marked you know i mark half of an inch by the time i fold half of an inch together i will have a space of a quarter of an inch left so it means my bones can still pass through this uh, channel so i will just continue like that you can see the one i just held this is the one i just held i will take another one and hold it the same way so i'm creating the channel already so the first the channel that i created i want to pass the bone and see how it works so wrap your bone with paper tape before you pass it in so i will wrap it then i'll pass it in like so i'll pass it in like so then as i'm passing it in you can see how it's forming the spiral structure so i'll pass it in and when when you notice that it has entered enough make sure you leave a space the hemming space because you are going to run a straight stitch on both ends so you need to leave the space so just make sure you reduce by one of one inch make sure you reduce the measurement of the bone by one inch so wrap up the edge also wrap up the edge also so that by the time you run a straight stitch on the edge it will not um, poke out from the fabric and it won't hurt the person that is wearing the dress so this is what we have then i will just wrap it up carefully and cut the remaining tape then this is what I have. You can see how it's forming. It cannot the fabric can cannot stand straight again. Can be straight again. It will just be folding, fo following the structure of the spiral bone. So these are the ones I have held. You can see the ones I have held already. So I'll be passing in my bone ch bones inside all these um, bone channels. So these are the ones I have held. So don't forget to use a matching thread whenever you are doing this kind of a project. So I, what, what we have here, we are going to pass bone in, inside all the bone channels. This is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. This is how the long, wrong side will look. This is how the wrong side will look. So both, both sides can be very beautiful when you want to, when you are placing it on the dress. So this is what we have. Then I'll be passing in the bones like so. So the same process that I used the other time is what I'm going to use also in this. But I'll first of all wrap it with paper tape. Then afterwards, I'll pass it in and make sure when you are passing it in, leave space that you're going to like a sewing allowance space. Half inch on this side and half inch on the other side. Because after you have passed in your bones, you still need to run a straight stitch on the edges so that all the bones will be coming out. So make sure you leave the sewing allowance before you cut the bone. So I'll go ahead now and cut the bone like so. So pass it after I have passed it in the same process i'll cut the bones and wrap it wrap the edge with my paper tape wrap the edge with my paper tape and we are done this is the edge i told you about i have run a straight stitch on it so that all the bones will not be coming out on both sides so run a straight stitch to stop the bones from running out so this is how you're going to attach it you're, you there's no standard way there's no fixed way to attach so you can just 
be creative about it when you are attaching it. So I did my own attachment with a pin. You first of all hold it before you do your tacking. You can tack with thread and needle. But if it's for if it's for a photo shoot purpose, you can just pin it and take your take all the pictures and remove it, and you can still wear your dress without the structures. So this is what we have. You can see it's beautiful. I'm trying to attach it. It goes to the back. You can be creative about it. There is no. I told you there is no fixed way about designing. You can design. It may be the shoulder you design. It may be the bust line. It may be anywhere on the on, on the dress. So you can see how beautiful it is. You can see how beautiful it is. So we we'll make it on one side. So you just want one side to be busy. And this is what we have. You can see it's a beautiful work. So you 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 can't go wrong with these structures because you just be creative about it and you are going to have the effect you have. You can see it makes the dress look more elegant and beautiful. So this is what we have. This is what we have. And it's beautiful. You have come to the end of the tutorial. And I will see you in my next tutorial.